Have you ever had someone tell you that they believe that you are evil itself? I've had the pleasure, and um, it's an interesting experience. Um, and for the record, I believe that this person was sincere, that they believed that I was evil itself. Now, that's an interesting dilemma, because it raises some interesting questions, sort of comparable to the um, uh, idea, the Christian idea, of evil people belong in hell. Um, well, uh, if God created everybody, he created some people evil, so I create somebody evil and then punish them for being what I made them. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting issue, uh, this business of evil people. Um, it raises all kinds of ethical questions and political questions even, I suppose. Uh, if you believe that there are evil people out there, then, um, well, Hitler just got the wrong bunch of people. Um, if we could find the evil people in the world and round them up and stick them in concentration camps, shouldn't we do it? Um, we don't know if somebody's evil or not. We don't have the wherewithal to determine that. And the idea that we do have the wherewithal to do that sort of thing is what underpins most uh, uh, totalitarian regimes from, you know, from the beginning of time. Um, from... Uh, the Spanish Inquisition, to the Reign of Terror in the French Revolution, to the killing fields of uh, Pol Pot in uh, democratic Kampuchea. Um, Morality-based law, or ethical, ethically-based law, um, all kinds of problems with that. Uh, the idea that um, we should punish the bad and reward the good, or whatever, uh, is kind of a, I won't really say a road to nowhere, but it's a road to infinite regression, I guess. Because you always say, okay, what made this person behave in this bad way? Are they just plain evil, or were they turned into evil by the their experiences? Uh, but still, society has to be managed. Um, we need laws. Now what? Well... The obvious answer to that is, uh, well, let's uh, try and take the moral outrage out of uh, our legal systems. I don't know. Um, but uh, the thing that fascinates me the most is this business of evil people. People that are just plain nasty. People that are just, at bottom, rotten or deficient or ugly or uh, black in their souls or... Um, whatever term you want to use to describe somebody who is just plain bad, some sort of Sauron-like character. Um, is such a thing possible? Um, do we have the ability? Again, I hold that we don't, but do you believe we have the ability to determine whether or not somebody is bad? And let's assume that we don't have the ability. <laughs> now what? Thank you.